freaking morning or afternoon or evening, depending when you're watching this. Welcome back to my channel. We have a very fun haul today. And the reason I say that is because I have seen this brand everywhere. It was one of those ones where somebody mentioned it and it popped up on my Instagram ads for like a year straight. And cool enough, they messaged me a few weeks ago. So they gave me a list of things that I could um, pick my sizes from. And so I think I have like six things, maybe seven. I'll, we'll go through those. I'm not 100% sure. I literally have been on a vacation for like three weeks. So I just got my package yesterday finally. So I, I opened it. I looked at things, but I haven't tried anything on. I haven't done anything with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it for like an actual first impressions with you. And then we're going to just jump to a clip of me trying it on and kind of explaining how it actually fits, feels, and all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's jump right into this video because I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer because we have a few things to go through and a lot to chat about. Okay. We got the goods. I am pretty sure there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't know what's in any of these bags. They have really cute bags though. It just says, Halara, play it my way and keep the plastic bag away from babies and children. <laughs> that is what it says on the back. So this one, um, I wonder if there's a tag on it because it actually doesn't say on that. Okay, tag. I'm gonna link everything below because it doesn't actually have the names on the tags. It just says it's a size small. But the reason I chose this color in this one because is because I got a colorful version from a different company and I really needed like a black one because I don't really wear colorful that much. But it's basically just like this little, um, it says 87% nylon, 13% elastane. So it's very like spandexy, you know, that like silky or soft kind of material and then the back has this super cute cross so it's literally just like one little band and it's like a little like if you just like flip the fabric and then sewed it so I think it's super cute we're gonna try it on though because for me I have big traps and I wear shirts like this because it goes up and it doesn't sit and fall off my shoulders I don't know if this is gonna stay on my shoulders very well so we're gonna try it we're gonna see and I'll give you the deets in that part okay so this top I love. I think it is very flattering, very cute, shows off the back gains. It's not feeling like it's gonna shift off like really quickly. I've had one like a little bit ago that felt like it was going to, but I think there's enough fabric right here that it's like holding it up. So I like this. And I got a small and it fits so much tighter than the white one, which I love and I appreciate, but I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot this summer. So very happy with this one and I recommend it. The next thing, the next, next contestant. I have, again, no idea what this is. So, size small, again, I think everything I got was a size small. When I am looking at these though, cause I did open a couple pairs of leggings yesterday just to see what they looked like and I didn't actually like try anything on. I kind of have a feeling they're all gonna be a little too big. I used the size charts. It said size small was a size four to six. And then the other one was like, something like two or something. I don't think it went to like, I don't know if it was two to four, but I'm not a two. So that's the thing I chose because I am like a four in Lululemon. So I didn't think I need an extra small. And now I'm thinking I might've needed one, but these remind me of my Norblanc leggings. So they got all like the pockets down the side, the butt pockets. I'm curious to see what these are going to be like. They, I think they're supposed to be full length. So we'll see. We'll see what they feel like. They do have like a band, like a sewn seam. Like it's not like a seamless flat. It's got that like band at the top. So we'll see how that fits on the stomach and if it like, you know, awkwardly pushes in. So let's try these on and I'll give you the deets in that area. Oh, these leggings on the other hand are doing me dirty. Can you guys see how much like extra fabric there is? Um, I need like an extra small, but I don't even think that would fix the fit of them. I don't like them, in my own opinion. I don't like how this top seam feels on my stomach. I prefer the ones I was wearing before, or the, I don't know if this was before or after, because I don't remember which order I tried them on, but the taupey ones, because they are just like a flat seam, they don't have like this top band. I don't like the top band, um, and I just, I don't think they're like, 
They're not doing anything for the booty. I don't know. I just... And they go down to like less than a 7 eighths length. Mm, I don't like these ones on me. Don't know how they'll be on you, but I don't like them on me, so they're a no-go for me. But maybe you'll like them. Next, this little dude. What are you? Oh, these. <laughs> these are the pet resistant. So I got them in black, obviously, because black is the worst color when it comes to like dog hair. I have a dog. He is passed out on the floor here, like full on snoozing hard. So I figured we could try this and test the black out to see. They're a lot silkier than I expected. On the site, they kind of looked more like cottony. So I kind of thought they'd be more like an align type texture, but they're actually very silky, which I understand now why they'd be like the dog one. I also have a feeling that these are going to be short. <laughs> They literally go from like my shoulder to my arm for the length. So we will see, but they have a crisscross front um, at the waist here. So they should be flattering that way. They got little pockets on the side. So let's try these on. Let's put them to the test and see, are they really dog proof friendly? Or am I gonna look like I really, really need a lint roller? Okay, these are the dog ones. I, why are they so short? I think this is so flattering, like the crisscross. It's very compressive, but not in a bad way. So like, it's a win. It's got pockets that are stretchy. So lots of movement there. And I think the back is very flattering. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna like fall or there's too much fabric, but it's like mid calf. Oh, I really like them though. I just don't like the length. But I think I can handle the length, just for the fact that they're supposed to be dog friendly. So I think they're good. This is my dog, Charlie. This is horrible lighting, but I'm just gonna awkwardly rub my legs on him. I think the whole concept is to be able to like brush them off which they did just brush off really easily, but I don't think it's like the whole concept is so they don't attract fur, but I'm okay. He's cute. I like him. So I'll accept his doggy for a little guy, but I like these leggings aside from the fact that they're short, but do you like the leggings too? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I do like them. I think they're great. Uh, they're very comfy, very soft. So I would recommend them. Just be wary of the fact that they are a little bit shorter. Okay, this one I'm actually excited for because this one I know what it is because I opened it yesterday and I remember it. But the reason I picked this one is because it's more of like a tank top. So it's like a cropped white tank top, but it's got like a cutout. So there's like a break between like the bottom and the top where your back kind of shows through. So I think it's gonna be really cute, but I have a feeling, cause I can see through it right now, that I might have to, I don't know if I can wear it without a bra. That's the only thing. I think that might be see-through from what I'm looking at. Like when I hold it up like this, I can see the exact outlines of the cup pad things. So I might take the cup pads out and eventually just wear it as a tank top with a sports bra under it. But we'll try it on with just the cup pads and see if it's truly see-through, just because that's what I'm thinking from how it looks right now. But it's kind of, it looks like a big sports bra, basically, because it's got, like, the line right under here, but just this part's really long compared to, like, a sports bra, how it's, like, short. So let's see. Let's put it to the test. We'll stand in a sunbeam, see if we can see the nippies, and go from there. Okay, so I have never in my life needed to wear an extra small on the top before, but, like, I definitely could have because it's slightly loose, but what I'm thinking is the fact that I can see the cup circles anyways, I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna wear my own sports bra under it. So that way it is compressive, it holds the tatas in place. And then I'll just wear it as like an over tank top because I think it'll be really cute for the summer because it's very soft, it's very light. And I love this little cutout in the back. So I think it'd be cool if you had like a, a funky sports bra or something maybe, but I do like it, but I could have went with an extra small 
So it definitely fits bigger than what you would think, if that makes sense. So like I'm usually a small, sometimes a medium. Apparently I'm an extra small here, but I do like this. So I would recommend it, but I would always recommend maybe taking the pads out and just wearing it with a sports bra underneath. I know what this one is too. So I'm really nosy when it comes to packages and I can't not open something when it comes. So the fact that it came when I was on my vacation, I was like counting the days down to be able to open it. So I had to open everything last night, but some of them I forget what they are. This one I do remember and I think it's gonna be kind of cute. Not my style, but that's why I picked it because I was like, maybe it will be. But it's a cropped long sleeve. It's got this very funky like ribbed material. It is 75% nylon, 25% elastane. And the cool thing is, is that these little straps go over like from the back over your shoulder. So you get like an extra strap and then have like the off the shoulder type moment, if that makes sense. Like it's a little bit more wider shouldered. So it's not like off, but like on the edge. So I'm excited to try this on. Um, it has cut pads built into it. So you don't actually need to wear a bra with it. Um, and I, it's not see-through or anything. So I mean, it's a very interesting fabric though. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I've never felt something like this. It's very soft, but it's very like, I don't even know. Like this is a ribbed material, but it's like smooth. So you don't like feel it, but you can like feel the bumps in this one of the ribbed. It's very interesting. So let's try it on. Let's see. And I'll tell you if I actually like it when it's on because I think I'm going to like it, but I'm really not hundred percent sure. Okay. So first impressions on this top, I actually love it. I think it's super cute. Um, it fits a lot better than I was expecting. It's got like thumb holes. It's got the little cute design here and it's got the built-in bra. I definitely thought it was going to be too big, but it's actually like a nice fit. Like I feel like I could wear this to the gym, honestly. Like it's very comfy, very cozy. I'm a fan. I like it. Okay, so I don't know what these ones are. Like I said, I'll put everything linked below. Um, what I'll do because I don't know what the names are is I'll just put like the color of everything next to it and like the description. So like I'll put like burgundy long sleeve and then like white tank top. So you know which ones you're clicking on because if I put the name of the items, it probably won't help because I can't even say them in this video. Um, but these leggings, so all the stuff that I've already shown you, like I remembered going through it and like finding my sizes. These ones I do not remember choosing, but I also did this a while ago, but they're just like these, like, it's almost like a gray brown color. Like taupey would probably be the best way to explain it. I don't even know, but it's got like a, a deep V in the front and then a little bit of a V in the back side pockets. And then I think all of these might be a little short on me just from how they're looking unless they're either going to be like a seven eighths or maybe even shorter. And I'm not sure if that's going to be good or not, but we're going to try them on. We're going to see these don't look super high waisted, which could be a good thing because if they're a little bit big, I could yank them up as well. So let's try them on. Let's see. But I actually don't remember picking these. So this, one, this one's going to be fun. I actually do like these. Let me fix this. So I actually enjoy these. I'm going to flip this up. But these, they fit a lot nicer. They're a lot tighter, more compressive. Um, I love this because it sits like right under that awkward belly section. So it's not like cutting in. It's not in enhancing it. So it fits really nice. I love the fabric. It's very Lululemon. Um, and then the butt, I think it's flattering. I like it. And then it's actually a pretty good length. It's definitely a seven eighths length, but it's got little pockets on the side. They're not very stretchy, but you could definitely like, you could fit a phone in there for sure. So these are a win. I like these. I actually really like the color as well. So I don't have anything this color. So we're doing good. And then the final item, I do remember opening this one. So I only had a couple surprises, but these ones, again, I think these might be too big, but they are just gray seamless with like the butt layout scrunches, literally nothing else to them aside from like the fact that they're a butt scrunch. So I'm going to try them on. They do feel like nice and like thick though. So they won't be like see-through hopefully. But the only thing I'm thinking is the fact that like the waist doesn't come in. It almost looks like it goes out. So I think I'm gonna have to fold these down 
because they're going to be too big on my waist because I need waistbands that cinch in because my waist is smaller than my butt. So we're going to try it. We're going to see. I'll let you guys know my truths on if I like them or not, but that's the final item. I wish I had good news, but I don't. I do not like these leggings and I have to be like full out honest because I'm not going to promote something that I don't like. These, mm, no, <laughs> there is no stretch, no compression. They are huge and it does nothing. And they're very short and like there's no cinching at the ankle either. So they're very loose. So like, I just, just there's too much fabric this isn't something that like a smaller size could solve either it's just it's not the fabric they needed to use for a seamless legging if that makes sense so like this is like it almost feels like a denim it's so weird but i i don't i nope not these okay we went through everything. We have some hits. We have some misses. We got the hits, got the misses. I'll put them on each side of the screen so you remember. But that is all for this haul. I definitely hate when I have to say I don't like something, especially when they send it to me. Cause it's like, obviously like, I'm very grateful that they send me stuff. So it's like, you want to like it all. But my body type, my height, like there are going to be certain things that just don't flatter me the same way it might flatter somebody else. So I feel like some of these clothing items might be better on like shorter women because I'm like 5'8 or 5'9. I have actually not measured myself in a very long time. So I have no idea how tall I am, but I'm tall. I got really long legs. So finding leggings that are actually like full length or like proper 7'8 is really hard for me, which is totally understandable if companies are making it for more people that are average heights. But at the same time. It's kind of hit or miss when I do try on leggings. So there are some that I did really like, like I mentioned. I really liked these ones. So I'm definitely going to wear these a lot. And I love the color. I thought they were cute with the white tank top as well. So I love the white tank top. Um, I also love the black tank top. And the black pet leggings were pretty good for the fact that they're very soft and flattering. They're just the length is the only issue. But I will keep them in length in that way. And then I did like the purple top. So a lot of wins, because the only thing that I didn't like the most was these ones I will not ever wear, because I just, they don't fit me at all. Like it's not even just like a, eh, it's like I will literally spend the rest of my life pulling these up. So these are a no-go for me, but these are like definitely like, depending on the person and what your preferences are. I have a different version from a different brand like this that are a lot more like compressive. So I would always prefer like that type of fit over these, but at the same time, these will probably work for somebody. They're just not for me. So those are the only two that I have issues with that are not my favorites. Um, but all of these, I love. So I will put everything below. I'll let you guys know a rating next to all the things below so you know which ones I highly, highly recommend versus like, go try it out, see how it is for you type of feeling. But I hope you guys like this video. Everything's linked below. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if there's anything else you guys want me to review, any brands, um, all that good stuff. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have the best freaking day ever. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos with me. So turn on the post notification bell and let's do this together.